these two oil tanks need the refined oil tanks. Firstly, we should add hot water to the oil tanks. Please notice there will be little p acid in the hot water to remove the gum from the oil. Secondly, uh, as we know, there will be some free fatty acid in the crude oil. So secondly, we add uh, some alkali liquid to the oil tank uh, to neutralize with the FFA to remove the free fatty acid. So until now, the, the gumming and uh, the acidification will be finished uh, during these two oil tanks. After the oil tanks finish the working, the oil will flow into this hole and uh, to the next uh, decolorization part uh, to achieve the decolorization aim. Thirdly, during the decolorization part, uh, this part, uh, this part uh, we adopt a vacuum system. And during the vacuum system, the white clay will be pumped into the oil tank to finish the aim of decolorization. Why this tank can achieve decolorization? Because the white clay can absorb the pigment in oil. And to finish the decolorization, the oil will be pumped into the finally oil tank. This tank is named the authorization tank. Finally, the authorization aim can be achieved during this part. As we know, there will be others in the crude oil so that the crude oil smells not good. So, we need to remove the others from oil. We adopt a vacuum system and the direct steam into the oil tank to remove the others. At the same time, about 0.5% water can be dehydration in such high temperature. Uh, please notice, our this part of material is stainless steel material because if you use cast steel material and carbon steel material, the oil will be will not be healthy for people. And this is a steam generator for producing steam for the the authorization part and the colorization part. Until now, the whole refinery process is finished.